Hello, everyone. Welcome in, Cryptic. I'll give you a shout out here in a second. But welcome in, everyone. Uh, today, I started making art assets this morning for our art uh, scene. So I just want to finish that up. And then if we've got time, we'll move into uh, going back into the uh, series we started last year. So that's the plan. That's the plan. But real quick, let me give our friend Cryptic a nice shot. Thank you for being here as always. Hey, Jigsoy! Gotta turn that up. Got him. Oh, I came in on this one! That was with the new model. That clip was with the new model, I believe, and it is looking so fresh, so clean. I couldn't stay very long. I was so sad <laughs> because uh, the first person messes with my sensors, but that's it looked great. You have been doing great work. I just want to say you should be really proud of the things you've made. Uh, welcome in, Jack Soy as well. Give you a nice little shout out. It's a rare VTuber clip. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm dead. I'm dead. Shoot, 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 shoot. Get, 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 get. Come on. Get him. Chicks up. I'm dead. James, James. <laughs> oh, James is so myrtled right there. Uh, eventually I'll create a high-res model. Well, we look forward to it. Always. Can't wait to see how it grows and develops. Uh, the classic. Yes. The classic clips. Uh, I can't wait to see. I know you talked about looking into ToonTuber, so I think that'll be really interesting to see um, how that plays with your style. I think it matches the things you're going for a lot more. Uh, so that's going to be exciting. I can't wait. Brimming with excitement. All right, uh, let me stop chattering away and let's go do the thing we said we were going to do. Get out of the way. Whee! I need to make sure I'm up high enough that when I look down, it's not going to be a problem. Okay. I think that's good. Uh, so I wanted to work on uh, giving me a tablet to have in front of my, my little gilly face here. And uh, have the pen move with me while I'm on stream. So I was making assets for that and I didn't want to stop. So we're just going to continue because I, I can do what I want. I decided it was really hard for me to decide that. Uh, yeah, I definitely got to start working on it soon. Can't wait to see it. But, you know, don't pressure yourself. Take time to rest and recuperate. I know how draining. Uh certain jobs can be and you should definitely take some time to rest. Okay, so I already did an iPad. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I actually face three quarters view. I don't face forward like most streamers. They face forward like this. Um, and while I can do that while I'm talking to people, um, by standard, I'm usually in three quarters. So um, 
I did stream yesterday and showed my new PNG. I have to go check it out still. Uh, we were super busy yesterday, but I always watch your VODs. So I'm going to go back and definitely catch up that. Can't wait to see it. I'm getting excited. Are you excited? I hope you are. I'm excited for you. Um, I was brain dying. Power up! <laughs> His power is over one million pixels. Let me start some music. I'm gonna have to turn down the sound because I turned it up for the clips. You were talking about a tablet. Yes, it was. I know. I, I was thinking I need to turn the music on while talking about the tablet, and so here we are. Uh, so I got this um, iPad done, and it's just a standard iPad. I haven't done anything to it. Um, and I started on the pin, but I need to do some adjusting. The nib part isn't properly shaped and I'm a stickler for accuracy. So we're going to fix the nib shape on this is the first thing. But also when I stream, my iPad rests on a lovely stegosaurus so i'm also going to get a stegosaurus plush to be in the asset group so i can properly convey the realism of the situation realism is so important here uh let's go ahead and fix this nib first before we get too far ahead and i don't remember what's going on because i can't focus i need to just erase this tip and start again And also I'll go here and erase this and I'll redo it in a second. Grab this color, make sure I'm on the right brush. I think about here would be right. It actually needs to come up a little more. Let me go and do those. Just let me put chat in a place where I can see it. Here. Yeah, I can talk to my friends when they come in. I'm gonna erase this stray pixel. For some reason, that looks a little wonkish in my mind. Maybe it's this pixel here. I need that to be a triangle, please. Yay, OCD! Yes. Um. Please, please be a triangle. Thank you. Okay, that's looking more accurate. Now we're going to come in here to this layer. I'll be drawing along. Hooray. Have um, have a good time. And I hope you'll grace me with an art tax someday. I like to see your things. Unless it's like a special stream thing. Yeah, don't. Don't spoil it.
So I think this would be correct. The flat side with the logo and everything's facing toward me. So this is like it. I can, let me come in here and shade the tip a little. I'm not gonna do that. No one's gonna see the tip. It's gonna be on the tablet. I gotta, gotta work smarter with my time. Okay, I've got my pin. Got my tablet. Let's get the dino in. Now this um, particular dinosaur is of the lavender variety. Get about right there. Gotta love those lavender dinosaurs. Speaking of which, you're gonna make fun of me, but uh. I was listening. There's this YouTube channel that does recreations of dinosaur sounds, realistic dinosaur sounds. Um, it's literally the name of the YouTube channel is just called Studio. That's it, Studio. And they have dinosaur vocalization studies. They have two of them up. Uh, I was just listening to the second one because it came out this last week. And uh, it was oddly soothing. Ooh, that's interesting. Yes, so they recreated dinosaur sounds from the most current data that we have on their anatomy. So they're as realistic as we know it at this point. And uh, I would unironically listen to dino sound ASMR like any day of the week. I've heard some of that stuff too, actually. Yes. And it's one of the reasons Parasaurolophus was one of my favorite dinosaurs, um, or is my favorite dinosaur, is because it was like the first one where they recreated its call. Stuff like that is really fascinating. I think so too, but I'm a dino nerd, so what would I know? Uh, yeah, so I was like, man, maybe I could just listen to Dino AS ASMR, just loop this video for the rest of my rest of my days. Let's increase this brush size. She's a big girl, Lav. Um, I'm gonna go in and edit this because obviously we're doing this in a perspective. She's a little more towards us, like this. She's going to be... about that wide. Okay, um... I'm gonna round this area a bit more, I think. Delete! She needs to be more circular, so let's just start with the circle. Okay, and then we'll ellipses it. to think the sounds I used for the bunion in this song were not appealing in it, but after listening to the dinosaur sounds and realizing that they sound a lot like some earth dinosaurs, uh, I'm pretty happy. 
By the way, stegosaurs are some of my favorite dinosaurs too because they got like itty bitty heads and like really slender necks and then just like a bulky body. And I think that's a neat shape. Fun fact about the stegosaur, so the, the end of its uh, tail where all the spikes are is called the thagomizer. And it is not the original name uh, at the when it was discovered uh, because when it was discovered they hadn't gave it an official name but there was a comic artist that was making fun of scientific discoveries and it's a one panel comic and it's a scientist going uh, this is the Thagomizer and pointing at the Stegosaurus tail and they just made it the official name of the Stegosaurus tail so now it's the Thagomizer fun facts for fun people uh Lav doesn't have a neck she's just kind of shaped like this and then I'll come in here and ease these a little better she got a tiny tail she does not have Thagomizer spikes and she's flat on the bottom part I think there's fine. Let me do an auto select and erase here. And then we'll fix up this edge. By the way, I have been marketing around the last brain cell. I say marketing around. I have been pushing this song around called "The Last Brain Cell" to my uh, friends and colleagues, asking for advice. And I got feedback that the song sounds too optimistic for the name of "The Last Brain Cell," but I think it's funnier that way. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep the name. I just got to do some more post work on it to get it ready for release and make a little thumbnail for it, a little album of a He's got really stubby eggs. Well, I mean, the last brain cell doesn't have to be gloomy either. Yeah. <laughs> It could be a really good brain cell, okay? It doesn't have to be just the worst thoughts. It can be good thoughts, too. Got kind of like a little flipper foot. Same for the back feet. I'm looking at her as I'm drawing her, which is why you keep seeing me do this. It's, I'm literally looking under my iPad. Okay, let's get her. It can just be exhausted, yes. It can just be a tired brain cell. It's like those office workers where they're the best worker in the office, so they just give them all the work and they're like burnt out. It's that brain cell. It's the thing that keeps everything afloat. But too much pressure and it'll fry. You know, her spikes are actually a little warmer. 
her plates that aren't really plates. They just gave her a generic dinosaur back, but that's okay. She's still cute, even though she's not accurate. We'll love her anyway. Uh, they're a little pointier than that. Gonna have them curved here because the iPad kind of bends them. They are floppy. I need to redo this. That's too many. Okay. Forgot a little bit. The middle one was too thin. I'm going to have to adjust this curve because I did the thing that I always do. And it's on a walk. That's okay. Oh, I accidentally shrunk it. A little bigger, please. Okay. I need to go ahead and start the group. And let's do some perspective touch ups. And then we just need to give her more volume with the shading. She's looking kind of flat, but that's that's normal. In the beginning, everything is flat. Okay, okay. Uh, she also has dark spots. They really burdened her up. Three and then two. They are just like little rice sheets.
So we get these. Smaller ones in here. Gotta zoom in a bit. It's not registering my attempts here. Okay, we'll just merge these down. Those actually aren't darker, they're just a slightly bluer shade. Let's come back to normal and adjust the hue. And I like this, but I need to brighten it. Saturate it a little more. Yep, like that. Go ahead and go to ink. Almost yellow. Each is color. I got this constant open mouth. It's, it's actually got a pocket there. But. I never use it as such. I will go to at that dark. It's got sepia. A tiny bit like something coming up here. Not quite. The edges are thinner, so I'm gonna come in here and try to replicate that percent shape with the thin edges. To turn down this much. That's part of the problem. to shrink it. Her eyes not that big. She's actually doesn't have any nostrils. That's interesting. I do need to fix her head shape. It's too perfectly round. Top of her head's kind of flat. Bottom two. Let's fix that. Okay. This is all kind of her general features. I noticed here I want to come fix up this corner.
and I know nobody else is going to care about the accuracy of that corner but me, but I still still feel compelled to do it. Okay, let's get some shading. Do it for you. Yes, this is self-care. Totally not neuroticism. Let's make this a multiply layer. So we can get her her details in. This needs to come down to maybe about five. Got a seam that kind of comes around all the way over here. And she's got toe beads. But it's like a big seam and then ancillary toe bean seams. And then from her front hands, her belly's kind of laying over them at all times. Does have a little seam that goes down. And then a little palm seam and some more toe seams. If I could get one of those toe seams in here. And I need to fix the proportions of that back leg. Oops, freehand. Maybe not that big. Okay, and I'll come in and fix up the base shape here. You know, I made this foot too, too above her belly. Her belly does cover a lot. I'm gonna come over here and clear this real quick. This shape over again. Let me come in here. I need to round this out a little bit. I'll turn up the brush for this. Oh, 
by the way, I know which game we're going to play after surviving Mars. Um, is done. We had the good fortune of being able to get a hold of a capture card. So we'll be playing Spirit Bearer next, I believe. Because, you know, who doesn't want a good cry on stream? Live in front of an audience. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this on a new layer. Uh, so I can get the appropriate shape without messing up the base layer again. Really, it's only a bit of the, the thigh chunk and the foot. Like so. Okay. And I did that on the wrong layer, but I did it right, so I guess <laughs> it's fine. What size was this brush? Was it 10? Was it 10 or 5? Okay, yeah, it was 5. So that's her, her belly. I guess if she's facing like this, this would be her foot angle. You'd get one little toe seam, foot seam. Actually doesn't have a side seam. I do need to make it larger. about right. I think I'm gonna erase this straggler. And I need to do in the body at least I need to shrink her down a bit more that way. So we'll do the whole group. She's, she's chonky, but she's not that chonky. to reduce the head length. There's too much neck. Okay, let's fix this.
think I'm gonna erase back this part a bit and then we'll edit that little of this there. Yep, that's looking more accurate. And she's got a neck seam. With a bit of a nose seam. A mouth seam. She's got a seam that kind of comes from here. We'll do the little tail seam going into the spine since she's angled a little bit towards this way. Get her spine seam here, but they don't go that far. Spine seam ends. Okay, and then I'm gonna reduce the opacity on these because these are like seams. We'll do about 15%. Looks about right. Because they're just seams. Now we get to get some color. Some shading. Texture and mist. Turn it down. Of course, you know, general shade for her belly. I'm also going to come up here and shade a little where the iPad touches. I know that far over on her snoot. Get her like right here. Okay, she's already got some volume. I'm gonna do that again, but we're gonna do it with an additive layer and hit her highlights. So here, where it's facing the viewer, and here where the iPad's not touching it, and up here on the tail. And then the snoot. We'll reduce that a bit. That's 65. I think I'm gonna also add a secondary shading and lighting. But we're gonna do it with a soft brush. Of course, I'll turn the opacity down so it's not as uh, intense. Let's get a general roundy bit down here. We'll do about 25. And then I'm Get a darker layer in her darker areas. I'm going to decrease the size of this and get the creases where her belly is overlaying her limbs.
think about 26. It's a good. A good shading depth there. And then we'll get another additive layer. And do the same thing for her highlights. Wee! Let's turn that brush up. about 25 again I need to change the shape of this to be more round I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down a bit more 20 Then on this one, I'm going to do the blur and soften the edges a little more. I think I'm going to do that up here too. She's got a more natural gradient to her. And then let's get her mouth situation taken care of. I'm gonna remove the clipping mask at this point until I can get my shading done here. And we're just gonna do multiply. Not that big of a soft brush. Okay. I'm gonna also adjust the outer shape to review the profile of the mouth opening better. Like that, and then let's get another multiply. with a smaller airbrush get like a crease oh I did not like that it got ugly Draw a straight line to save my life. And since I can't, we're going to stabilize. Yeah, it was drawing towards me. That's how bad I am at it. <laughs> I was doing the art thing and it it's still I was drawn from the arm and everything. See? That's still okay. Um stabilize. I got them shaky gill appendages. Why is this alpha lock? Gotta have those confident strokes. Yeah, I don't. Maybe quick strokes too. Uh, let me try. Let's just do some line practice real quick. Look at black and we'll go to sketching and peppermint because I know that one has no stabilization on it. Mm. 
years of training at the Academy. The Academy of Straight Lines. And I can't do it. <laughs> Why is this so hard for me? And by Academy, I mean drawing by, by myself. To be fair, you have drawn so many things, you could probably fill an Academy catalog. Whee! Yeah. It's not gonna happen. Today, I'll just have to keep practicing. Huh. Weirdly enough, strokes away from me in quick fashion tends to be straighter. That Look! I did a kind of straight line. It is so curved, but it's straighter than the others. I did a thing that I probably shouldn't be too happy about because it's such a basic. That's okay. Yes, okay. Uh, I'm going to undo a couple times because I need to fix that line. Oh god, all the peppermint strokes! There we go. Okay. I think I'm gonna erase... Some of that. This one's prominent at the front. Because the light would obscure that. There we go. That's it. I'm not sure what this layer is. Is it a blank layer? I think that's just a blank layer that I self-inserted. Okay. I'm gonna do some work on these as well. The dinosaur is like a felt, but these are like um, embroidered on. So maybe I've got a brush somewhere that'll be able to get. Wait, let's go look at the. There's like a hashing brush here in the bases somewhere. Maybe this? Not quite. Too... too bleedy. Maybe Copperhead? Okay, I could kind of get that look with this Copperhead brush. But again, it's very, like, ink bleed. These are too far apart in this diagonal. Same brain? No, that's... No. Could be... That I am mistaken and there is not... The brush that I was thinking of. Try twig. Yeah, again, still very ink. Oh, here it is. It is. But it's cross hatchy. Which is a problem. Because I just need straight lines. Okay, this can definitely get it. So, I'm going to change this to multiply. Grab the base color, turn this down a bit. We'll just try to do some straight 
ish coins. They're all kind of stitched in this diagonal fashion. I'm gonna do one where it's a dad layer. You know, it's looking a bit too realistic, I think. Let's see if got some brushes by Gal Shear. Let's see if he's got any. Uh, the jeans one may work. Yeah, that may work. Okay. Let's do lighten. We'll lighten it. We'll add it. Do an add layer. That is just a picture of jeans, isn't it? Okay, that's looking better. Let me zoom in so you can see. Um, I think something it definitely needs. They do have an edge to them, so we're gonna go to multiply and let's get normal monoline get this into place let me lower that and see if I even want to do that much detail I think it adds something nice. Let me adjust this so it's at a proper angle. Okay, I guess this is what I'm gonna be doing for the next few minutes. a bit because the edge of this one's just a little too too thick Here we go. I think I'm going to increase those a little bit more so you can see them from a little farther away. Let's see, it'll probably be about this size on screen. Or smaller. I uh, just need to do the shading now for. The uh, not plates, spines to multiply. 
Uh, still a model line. I need it at like five because this one has some seams I'd like to note. It's just got little seams in between all the plates. Like those plate shapes, I'm gonna fix them. It's the curve that's getting me. Nope, not that fresh. I would like a monolime racer, please. You know what? I'm gonna delete, start over. I just want to make sure I had the color there, and I did. I need to increase this brush size or it's gonna look real pixely. I also need to line up the spines better. I meant to just increase the size on that. That's not how that's shaped at all. I know I'm being picky, but it's my dinosaur, I can be picky. Kind of short, kind of end there. The interface flipped on me. Yep, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go on a new layer. And these are the same. And then there's one in between. I'm going to have to resize all of these. Accidental dupe there. Let's take away the dot. Make sure we get in a little bit of that nice back layer.
I'm gonna kind of do the same thing here where it's longer on this side and it is on the other side of the plate. I'm gonna move that down a little. Needs to be bigger. And then I just need to fix this edge one a bit. And just notice the sides are a little lopsided. And we're gonna even it out. That's more accurate anyway. Okay. Uh, all of you can be merged together. I just need to move you a bit. And then we need to erase away the bottom part. Because it is a flat seam there. Let me zoom out so I can get a nice arc there. Okay, let's do automatic. Make sure the threshold's up nice and high. Invert! Okay, the threshold's not that high. Bring it down a bit. Clear away those, and then we'll go in and fill in these little corner gaps here, left over. Now I need to do a little Perspective shrink. Try to do it a little better where I can get this back part in there. Okay, I'm liking that much better than the other one. Now we're gonna get in the seams. And they are just weirdly flat for the angle of these things. And since we're seeing 
a little bit of the belly. We're also going to be seeing a little bit of some of these top seams. Um, mostly starting here. Maybe just a little bit at the tip here. And then this can be the two flat ones. Perspective is a little bonk, I just noticed. Like, her back half is rotated towards the tablet a bit, but her front half is facing completely profile. I'm not quite sure if I care to fix that. I think I am going to get a little bit of the ends there so we can kind of capture some of the curve that we'll do the shadings on. way to fix the perspective issue and I am going to go ahead and do it. I'm just going to erase the back part. I need to freehand please. These parts that are just peeking over the, the spines. See perspective fixed. So that's what we're going to do but I need to adjust the spines. A bit now. Maybe more like. That. Okay, let's get the shading. For some reason, this is it. Is it working? Oh, it is. It's just so faint. I need to turn up the, the brush size. We'll do that like so. And let's come in, do the lines a little here. And then we'll go in with a soft brush. So we'll have a little bit dark where the seam is. And then we'll do So what I'll do is I'll come back and darken the base on a different layer. So we'll do about 50. And we'll do a new layer. And we'll get a darker edge here. 
let's drop this down to 50 as well or thereabouts we can kind of get the curve wheel I'm gonna go ahead and group these see if I could do a warp without completely destroying it Please, thank you. Did I just screw that up? No, it's looking fine. I need to take a break. Let's hydrate. That's what we'll do. Let's do a hydrated stretch because I feel like I slept in too long and everything looks wrong. So. Stretch. Oh, thank you for that. Let me get nice and hydrated. I need an extra mist there. I was particularly thirsty. Let's do some soft shading on these spines at the at the tops of them. I think we'll do a multiply for these spaces where it like touches the iPad. And where we can see the other side kind of peeking through. From these seams. And for the areas not in the iPad, we'll do an add layer. We need to turn that way down. Gonna do some adjusting. Yeah, I think that's better. Better curve there. Okay, looking good. There's just one more thing I wanted to make, and that was to make my own. Uh, iPad overlay because uh, this one I'm using was just a preset from a uh, a uh, website so I'm going to make my own now and uh, the reason why is this one has a pin attached to it and I would be holding the pin in this scenario so it wouldn't make sense to have the display have a pen and stuff. So that's something we'll make. 
shortly. Just kind of want to... Ah! Don't squish the dino! Olav, are you okay? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I'm just trying to get an angle. Oh, got another stretch. Let's let's do a sun stretch. Can't really see that. Hold on. Let me give you the full the full stretch. There we go. Nice and stretched. Okay. Uh, am I too far down again? Very good. I think this is looking like a good angle, but I need to adjust the spines independently because something about their angle is wonk. And I know what it is. It's this front spine is too out there. So I may have to liquefy it. Let's Okay, that's looking fine so far. That screwed it. Okay. Okay, I think that definitely helped. Yeah, that definitely helped. Okay, let's move this down here, trying to get it more curved up again. Give a nice berth to the spot. Okay. I think that's it for these assets. So. I'm going to change the background so you can see them a little better. So we've got the dinosaur with the, with the iPad on it and the pin. And now we're going to make the overlay. I think I need to group... Yeah, let's group the dinosaur and the tablet together. Just so that I know those are one asset. And then... Uh, I'll know how to export them later. I'll put the pin. And what I need is like a screenshot of Procreate, I guess, to work with. So we'll just take a screenshot of this. Boop. Okay. Move to photos. I'm going to hide this real quick while I go in my photo folders because I don't want people to see what I've been working on until I'm revealing it. Okay. Uh, fit to screen. Whoop. And we'll actually make it smaller so I can make the overlay around it. Okay, what are... Current I 
bit parameters of this image, please. Uh, does that say? Okay. <laughs> I guess just as I have it is good enough. Uh, gonna go ahead and hide my other assets. Had a random layer there from a long time ago, I guess. I'm going to use my rectangle brush. We want it to be the same colors as the display thing we just made. Here we go. There is maybe like an inch of space on these sides. And I think about there would be the right size. I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to make sure uniform again. I'm going to shrink it down, put it in line with everything. Whoops, two. Too soon. I gotta merge these. I don't know what happened. Did I not? I undid that. Okay. I need to distort this again. No, ah, I wanted to get a continue feeling, of course. Redo merge and do color draw. This issue in my overlay now as you can see the color kind of gets cut off in the top corner and uh, some of the stuff at the top gets cut off so I want my my new overlay to not do that so I'm going to adjust this not do that. Okay, and then I think the way I can get around it Um, 
I guess I'm not gonna get around it. I guess my color's always gonna be kind of cut off. Because in order to get over it, so much of my uh, overlay will. I don't have a followage command. I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Is that how long users have been following? Uh, me in particular? <laughs> I will add it, I promise. If you uh, coach me on it. Apparently I have it. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, okay. I will uh, make a note to add followage commands. There we go, it's in my calendar, now my brain can't forget it. Okay, so we will do that. Uh, overlay. I guess it's always just gonna kind of cut off. By virtue of its rounded corners. So I guess here's what we do then. I'm gonna clear this. Because on the iPad, the corners are rounded, but the display capture makes them rectangles. So, um, we will do the rounded rectangle for the outside edge. I didn't mean to fill that. I'm not quite sure why I did. Okay. Okay, so this will be the outside edge. And there actually isn't that much space. And then I believe I have a shapes set. And I have a rectangle. Am I on a new layer? Okay. That is one thick rectangle, but okay. That actually works. Okay, we'll do a rectangle that perfectly fits. I gotta try to make sure I'm not healed in. Okay. I think this rectangle perfectly fits. And then we will get the rounded edges out here. And we'll merge these, fill in the gaps. Okay, I already did this. Okay. It looks a little wonk, but that's what it has to be in order for everything to get seen. So, what it gonna be? 
I didn't realize it left a line. Now I get the joy of going through and fixing it. Screw that! Back, back it up. Okay. Okay, I did that. Did it still leave a line? Yeah, it did on these ones. Go. Nice. Uh, and then I had button was just dark. The very light rays. Let me put this under. That's basically it there. And yeah, that's basically it. That's an iPad overlay. Alright, let's see. Uh, I've got enough time to put it on stream. Let me... You guys get to stare at my beautiful face for a bit. Okay, let's remove the backgrounds. Gonna give them names. This one's the iPad overlay. Canvas is gone, all is lost. No, <laughs> my dinos. It's okay. They're fixing to be here with us. Let's see. This one also a PNG. I turned for a second and all the Hussey drawing functions. Hey, I can't drawing function all the time. Sometimes I got a load function and adjust function. Yeah, and load. And then tablet. To be fair, I have not been drawing at all. <laughs> have you been just being the most supportive person and not being able to do your own uh, drawings? Curse my easily distracted mind. Yeah, me too. Curse the skilly brain of mine. That's why I have to make lists so I remember things. Okay, uh, so apparently it's a really beefy file. <laughs> I didn't realize how big I made this thing. Okay, so now... The music! Yes! It is Jack's always favorite song. He helped name it too. Let me... Here.
Nice. Okay. Uh, so I think what I'll do... I'm surprised none of my frames dipped because I just opened Chrome. I can't imagine art going with this song. I hope it's beautiful art. You sitting on a field, looking up at space. That is a really pretty scene. I'd love to do that. Let's see. I do my one of my goals is to go back and make better GIF videos for Sweet Home Boon once I learn animation and grease pencil. So I may actually steal that thought too. I steal the title of the song from you, and now I'm going to steal the, the GIF for the music video from you. <laughs> okay, uh, downloads. Okay, we can go back to looking at things, things and people. Okay, sin. It is humongous. By all means, become a thief. Why not in this day and age with AI? Everyone else is doing it. <laughs> please don't, please don't steal AI. Um, please don't steal people's art for AI. Just saying, it's scummy. Put the screen. Okay. Adjusted. Have I ruined your immersion yet? Just size. We have to move everything over. Let's see it. But I did it. It's no longer cropping my icons. I'm gonna delete that old one. Yes, thank you. Okay, let's let's just move these over a bit. Is that a bit? There we go. Fine enough. Let me get this to screen to make sure people are going to be seeing everything fine. Okay, and I think I'm also going to add this as a stationary object. The title returns! Oh wait. Wait until you see this. Uh, screen. Now I have to adjust my layout. Big. Big dino. I don't want to hide her off screen. I'll put her there. Put her there. Hell. I'll put me there. And then I'll do a, a shrink us on the chat so people can still see. That looks nice. Thanks. We'll just do chat box screens. A little bit. For some reason, it's like stretched this chat box. It's not like that in my other, my other things, so I'm not sure what happened. Well, I'm being moved! Shaky shaky! Are you awake yet? <laughs> okay, uh, I think here's fine. Nah, that looks... Yeah, I can't make up my mind. Typical Golobian.
I'm gonna be looking down a lot, so... Maybe if I move her over here. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Okay, now... Some magic. Let's try to add my uh my item. That's right, I gotta go. There's folders I gotta get into. Can I just, can I just, boink? Oh, I can't just boink! <gasps> I can boink things! The pen! The pen! Okay, um, I need to do some adjustments on these. Nope, I didn't mean to. Please undo. How do I? Here we go. <laughs> Finally, I'm not the boomer this time. It's not you. I started on... I started on uh, a different program than Live 2D, so I gotta try to figure this out. Okay, I'm gonna have to remove everything. That's the only way I know how to do it. Okay, bye-bye, cherry blossoms. I moved because now I can see chat box. It's a little out of place. Okay, uh, let's try this again. Uh, Lonk. Okay, green kiss. You get it to the appropriate size. How do I do? How do the rotates do? I need to shrink this a bit more. Out oh, there's right. I'm the boomer today. Let's see. I'm gonna get out of there. Is it control? It's control! Alright, put it in place. Ready to move with me. Well, it's a start. I can figure it out later. But this is gonna be our new art layout. Which we'll have to actually do the art for next time. But look at me! I got a dino! And my iPad doesn't cut things off anymore. And I got a pin. I'm gonna figure out how to move it soon. Sorry, I was trying to focus on the pin with my eyes. Let's put a pause this music and go over. Spin. Yes, I'm still holding my pin. I'm going to be doing that for the rest of this video. It's going to be stuck to my face. Just ignore it. Or don't. It's up to you. Well, that time it just flew, but I think we got some really great stuff out of it. 
I got a nice dino with the iPad. I've got my pen attached to my face. I got a new overlay that doesn't cut things off and uh, all that great stuff. Thanks for the stream. Yes, thank you for stopping by. And I hope you do uh, get a chance to get your artwork done uh, here soon. So thank you everyone for stopping in. That's all for today. We'll be back tomorrow with Cozy Grove and Dome Keeper. So until next time, have fun space friends.